Okay, so here is your typical Canmore dryer. Canmore Whirlpool, very, very similar. And what happens is you can see this, uh, this is the front skid. This is where the drum basically rests and rides on. And you can see there's a gap right here. And you can see it's only run on half this. So it's run half on um, half the bushing. And you can see that if we push it, it will fill back in. And you can see this thing moves back and forth. There's nothing to hold it in place up here. Nothing holds it in place up here. It's only these side uh, rivets that hold it in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this a little bit and we're going to put something back behind here. Normally I'll take a piece of wire and then just glue it in there so that bushing stays forward and we'll get more life out of this machine. Okay, so what I found is this is similar material, braided rope. And I just cut a little piece and I put it in there. Glued it in with the E6000. And sometimes I take a little bit of this lubricant, just a few drops, and then lube the felt. Um, sometimes I'll actually lube this back part here, just lightly, very lightly. And so that one, actually I could probably put a double, double strand on this because we've got plenty of room in there, which I think I'll do. Thanks for watching. I give phone advice for $25. If you're interested, you can contact me, 707-443-8347. Again, 707-443-8347. My email is z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.